Big boy. You wanna go outside and play in the snow? Hurry! <laughs> I do your skis. You want me to do my skis? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right. It's a little dark, but we just got done sledding with the kids. And I thought, if I'm in here in Jersey, I might as well make the best of it and do what I did growing up. Neighbors must think I'm crazy too. About three months ago, I went down to Gainesville, Georgia to do an interview with, with Bob Prechter. And that began a whole series of events that have led to a really nice co-working relationship. <sighs> Basically, they're recommending my business as uh, the trade alerts provider. So it's been great. Volatility is huge. Market put in a big top. So it's been busy. Let me take you back to the beginning and let me, let me show you how it started. <sighs> Thank God I don't have to drive eight hours to Georgia tonight. I'm really looking forward to being there. Rental car number two in 24 hours. Shit, there goes my water. Oh. Now we're going to Gainesville, staying at the Hilton tonight, and then heading to EWI offices tomorrow. I gotta say, for playing golf today, being up at four yesterday, I feel pretty good. Mm, 145. A little tired, but I can make it just a little bit more. Which Stay way to the am I left. going? Then to turn the left. left on Atlanta Highway. Good morning. I got some sleep last night. I think I went to bed at like 2.30, got up at eight. So not bad, I feel fine. And I did do my daily video. Market's moving up, we have good long positions on. Uh, so, all's well, gotta move. So speaking of today's markets, yeah. uh, stocks have been rallying for the past few days. Um, is there anything you're watching uh, in terms of Elliott Wave count? It, it, you know, there is, and, and it's so funny. I just I just arrived at the Elliott Wave International offices, and the guys printed off my, my short-term forecast right here. I am long the NASDAQ right now. I'm long the NASDAQ via a QQQ put spread, and I'm long NVIDIA uh, via a put spread as well. I'm looking at what the guys have put out there. I just above us. So I kind of think it's time to look at these two different wave counts that both predicted the market to move higher, both are predicting resistance, and I think we need to manage these trades. Speaking of opportunities, this is what you're looking at right now. Yeah, yeah. so, so this is the NASDAQ. This is the QQQ on a 195-minute chart. We're, we're up pretty good here. This trade's up just over $1,000, um, real money, 54 cents on that. So I'm gonna take half profits. They want me to pay 56 cents, Fine, you get your way, and that trade is now filled. So we just booked half profits on that trade. Um, the other one, we just got done doing an interview at the Elliott Wave Studios. Thanks, dude, it went well, I think. Thanks for coming. This was, this was uh, again, impressive, just watching you work. Oh, stop. You guys work. You guys see all the awesome work that, that Vadim, Tyler, and Robert put out there, and then these guys are working hard. Thank you for making it happen here. We arrived at the Elliott Wave offices and look at the whole Elliott Wave team. What's up guys? Say hello to, this is the entire. No work allowed, buddy. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're always working, Mr. Prechter. <laughs> yes, so, we are. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for coming. All right. This is the awesome team that makes it happen in Ellie Wave. Just a fraction of the awesome team that makes it happen in Ellie Wave International. Throw some comments below, let them know how much you love them. Bob brought us back to the house and I'm checking out all the cool, this is kind of a man slash woman cave because you've got the harp side, you've got, got the, the harp drum side, you yeah. got the drum side. And then the laundry side. He was in the, I 
think that when he was in. Uh, he said he played in San Francisco. High before. school. Really. And then he had this in Yale. Wow. And then this was his professional set when he toured. Really. He toured upstate New York, Oneonta. Oh, he played. He didn't ever tell me he played upstate. Oh yeah. And then he always wanted this green set, so he just got that a couple of years ago. Wow. So here's all of his old pictures. There he is right there. Where? That's Bob? Yeah. Oh! That's Bob. I am, this is going all over the internet. Oh my God, this is so great. You can well, see the dust on him. after an awesome day, do you want to be in a video? Oh, me? Yes. Oh, all right. Please. I don't care, what do you want me to do? Mrs. Robin Prechter was just playing beautiful harp for us. Yeah. And I had to hop on Bob's drums. Yeah. He won't play. No, but I'm gonna film you play. All right. You know you've made it when you're playing on Mr. Oh, what happened? Drum roll, please. What happened to my roll? Bill. The All funky right. waiver. Oh, that's great. <laughs> you know you made it when you played on Bob Prechter's drum set. Right. You made something. What we, we what that is Woo! we won't say. <laughs> Thank you. That's cool. <laughs> bit of a storm we're just we just tied up and um, just kind of headed for safety shelter on Lake Lanier beautiful lake all man-made I didn't know that just tied off the boat have a couple beers with the boys I don't know what could be better thanks for taking us out sir absolutely yep Had a nice little stop, like a little island visit. We just had a beer, had a sandwich. I mean, service was great. Service was great. They were worried that uh, some gentlemen were going to come out of the woods with shotguns and ask us to leave, but we're fine. Facilities are beautiful. Thank you for having us. The difference from coming here 30 years ago to coming here now, the beer is so much better. Beer? Really? Yeah. <laughs> from the craft beer from revolution? 30, yeah, the craft beer yeah. revolution. 30 years ago, there was. 30 years ago, you had Budweiser and Miller. Yeah, that's it. It's exploding. You guys all know Murray Gunn, head of European Short Term Update. You guys all should know him. You definitely should follow us. What's up, man? Good evening. How's it going? Hello, too. Yes. Having a stressful afternoon on the, on the lake with some hard ciders. Absolutely. Yes, it's going down very well. <laughs> it's just great. What else is going on? Market's good. The markets are good. Volatility's yep. up. Yep. Well, it's uh, just about to go up. Uh, hopefully, yeah. There's been a bit of a correction, but uh, I think we're, we're getting to a bit of a reversal to go down. And, some of the European markets, so a nice little uh, doji day today in the uh, mm -hmm. Eurostocks uh, market. So um, a bit of uncertainty keeping through. Yeah, looks like uh, wave three down is about to begin. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Actually, I just had some short-term longs. I just took them off today. I think it's time to maybe hit some bids tomorrow. It's certainly going to be a good uh, a good summer for the shores. Yeah. I think that's, uh, that's what you're thinking. And Murray actually worked for, he was at HSBC, and then you, you were on the buy side for the Abu Dhabi fund, right? Yes, it was with the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority trading uh, their uh, FX book, and then before that with Standard Life Investments. With LA Wave, right? Yes, I was utilizing technical analysis in LA Wave a lot uh, in, in those companies. And, uh, yeah, uh, worked out very well. We, we uh, managed to manage our risk, which is uh, one of the main aspects of uh, technical analysis and one of the main benefits, I suppose. That. And here he is, he heads up the European. That's great. That's awesome, man. Yep. Cheers. Yep. All right, so, yep. My beer's over there, or otherwise, it's like it's bad luck to cheers without a beer. Absolutely. Actually, Murray only claims to have worked for HSBC. We're still 
tracking that down and trying to verify. They've struck me from the radio. Murray, we're going to need some references. <laughs> Uh, Murray, Murray and I were laughing that, that Mark and Bob were taking us out to a remote location in Georgia to lighten the payroll, <laughs> to shed some extra weight, you know, we have like here. deliverance. Yeah. Uh, we've got work in this comp, and we've got uh, some unemployment boots. insurance, yeah, so that's expensive stuff. <laughs> Good morning. Last day in Gainesville. Uh, what a fun day yesterday. God, that was fun. Hanging out with Bob and Mark and Murray Gunn. What a cool guy he is. So, just, I really, really, I've said it before, but what a great group of people at Elliott Wave International. Like, I was talking to their marketing and their guys, and I'm like, you got to feature your, your, your people more. You, you know, all, all the way from Bob at top all the way down. Such great people. So I really enjoyed it. Great trip. Uh, just packing up. Just close a couple uh, earnings trades here. Anyways, yeah, we might go hit the water today. Go back out and go do a little water skiing. Uh, and then I got to return the car and go to Atlanta and go back home. The other thing I was doing... I was just negotiating the price of our house in Saratoga. We went back and forth a bunch of times, and uh, isn't it great? Like, last time I negotiated the price of my house, it was in a commercial break at Money in Motion and CNBC. And this time, like, in the middle of this Elliott Wave International deal that's happening. So, uh, fun times. Never dull. I haven't taken two days off in a long time when I'm actually working. So uh, we're going to go out and we'll do a little water skiing for a couple hours. It's 1240. My flight out of Atlanta is 730. And I hear there's a lot of traffic in Atlanta. So we're just, we're going to be speedy about this. No pun intended. So this is Mark and his wife Catherine. Mark's a corporate director. At Elliott Wave International, so he's been great. Everyone's been just awesome. So yeah, we're gonna go out, have a little bit of fun. Oh, 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 oh. 